obviously a cruel end, such an impressive victory and performance tonight, but ultimately you're out. How does that uh, mix of emotions feel right now? Yeah, I think it's um, <laughs> it's sad, but of course, but I'm very, very proud of the players. I'm very proud of how much they worked tonight and what they did. And I mean, it's just unfortunate that it wasn't enough. Yeah. So as we know, obviously, tournament football is relentless. Yeah. Um, looking back now as a manager, yeah. uh, looking at the previous two fixtures against England and Portugal, do you think yeah. that maybe you could have done more? No, I think, I, I think it's like this also, that we come new into this tournament. Uh, and, you know, it's been a learning curve for us in the two first games and it's been uh, many players, well, all of us, here for the first time. And, um, yeah, it's, that's, that's what this team has been so fantastic. We have learned. We learn all the time. We want to develop, want to improve. And, and uh, I think that, no, I think the players that played in the first two games and the players that played tonight, they all have, have, have been fantastic. And they are just, yeah, we couldn't get the result against Portugal. But we knew from the beginning that this group was going to be tough, and, and uh, yeah. So uh, after the Portugal game, uh, you yeah. mentioned you felt you were unfortunate with in the small margins. Yeah. Uh, do you feel that was the case again tonight? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I know that Spain had a lot of chances as well, but I think we had chances also. And we definitely could have put it away. And I mean, they went for a win. This was a very, very good Spanish team. Yeah. And if you, I'm, I'm interested to see the, the statistic, because it is, um, we had a lot of ball tonight, and we made it really, really difficult for them. And uh, yeah, it's just a shame that we couldn't put the second one away, because we were very, very close. So, obviously, personally, this was your last uh, match in charge of Scotland. How good did it feel to end on a win and a good performance? <laughs> nah, yeah, well, it was good that for the players that they show, could show everyone how good they are. I think for, for that was important for them. I think when we had the media attention and all the supporters here and the board and, and everyone that they could show what they, what they are about. I mean, I knew that and I know that. I know that this is what they are capable of. Uh, but I think, I think for them it was good to show the world what Scotland is about because we'd we didn't do that in the first two games, so yeah. But I, I will be very. I'm, I am very sad, and I mean, it's a decision that I've taken so to stop. But I mean, I, you can't be a national coach forever. <laughs> but I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, the to see Scotland continue to develop, and I will always be following Scotland it will always be in my heart and uh, the players as well and, and everyone around it it's it's uh, a part of me so yes I'm going to Finland and I will absolutely do my best to yeah to to develop Finland but yeah, it will be sad to leave these players because it's been fantastic. Clearly, obviously, you're quite emotional. Do you feel like you've uh, achieved what you set out when you began as Scotland manager? Yes, absolutely, because, you know, we have developed the game in Scotland uh, on all levels. And it's a, it's a sustainability that we have created among the fans and the clubs and we have grown the game and on, on in every area and that's what I'm proud of it's not it's not a, a sand castle it's something that is to count on for the future and that's what I'm really proud of